Welcome back, folks. My name is Ty. This is the Go Ty Go channel on a Blooming Entertainment, and we are less than 24 hours from race day. I'm super excited. And ever since I've started the Go Ty Go playlist, I've been meaning to jump on and do some form of introduction where we came from, how we got here, where we're going. And then I also wanted to talk about race day. I've done so much vis visualization for this race. I wanted to talk through that a little bit and then we'll follow up afterwards and see if it worked out. But, but growing up, I have three brothers, Nick, Nate, and Colton. Um, I think we tried every sport under the sun, it felt like. Uh, my oldest brother, Nick, he specialized in basketball. He ended up playing collegiate soccer. Um, my next brother, Nate, he was the one who actually got me into running. He was doing cross country track. And then I remember he was in high school. I would have been in junior high and he ran his first marathon, his first full marathon. And I remember it was a big deal. I remember hearing about his day. They'd announced it over the intercom, you know, congratulated him. Um, and then it was probably the next year that I ran my first half later that year, my first full and was hooked, um, ran through high school, did sports as well. You know, junior high was wrestling, always did basketball, football. Um, and then after high school, continued running for a while. And then I had a transition point where I, I, where I stopped running and I went into more of the CrossFit realm, um, more of strength training stuff. And I remember my body type changing drastically. When I was a runner, at one point I was also a vegetarian for several years, so super lean, pretty tiny. And then when I had stopped running and I transitioned more into the CrossFit realm, I ended up putting on a lot of muscle, gained a lot of size. And so now going back to running, coming back to running, I think that size, that strength has helped me so much. Um, and so that's just a little, a little background. Some of the biggest influence that I've had, um, honestly, is one of my, one of my best friends, Taylor. Taylor, no, he, um, he's left such an influence on, on my way of thinking about the body and how I want to train, how I want to recover. So he's been a huge influence. I know through my CrossFit days, he was a big influence. He's one of my, you know, main trainers, coaches. Uh, Rich Froning was a big influence through that CrossFit period. Um, through my running days, you know, David Goggins and Ryan Hall, some of those guys, Chipogi, have always been big influences. Um, I love following Sally McRae, Yellow Runner. She's She's been an awesome influence. She's ran the 200, the Coca Dona 250. So, huge congratulations to her. That was incredible. Um, it was fun to watch her. But, but so many influences and, and kind of that what morphed me where I am now. One of the biggest, going back to Sally, one of the biggest influences that I love from her is her dedication to strength training. And like I said, coming from that CrossFit world and bringing that strength training with me over to the running, back to running, um, you know, it's been intriguing to follow her because she has that, a similar mindset. But... But race day, it's here. <laughs> I When I think about the run and I, I'm on the foam roller or back when I was on training runs, I've walked through it so many times from, from waking up, what is the morning routine? I've lived the morning routine. And then it goes on to the bus ride, you know, and getting to the top of the mountain and getting off the bus. I know I'm going to head straight to the porta potty. I'm going to use the, use the porta potty. I'm going to hang out by the bonfires. And when there's 25 minutes left, 30 minutes left before the race, I'm going to hit the porta potty one more time, not one more time, again. And then I'm going to start warming up. Um, at the end of my warm ups, I'm going to hit the porta potty one more time. I'm going to try to get everything out. I am going to end up wearing my belt. And that belt that I wear just puts a little bit of pressure that makes me have that urge that I need to pee more. And so I really want to take as, much, as many opportunities as I can to relieve myself at the top. Um, with about five minutes left, I'm going to line up. Um, for the first time, I'm going to be lining up very, very close to the front. Um, I'm super curious if there's going to be much chat. Um, there's not pacers at this speed. I think the, the last pacers end at like 310, maybe a 315 or 320. But for sub three, there aren't necessarily pacers provided. So I'm curious if there's going to be any chit chat, if I can find someone who's aiming for a similar pace. Um, naturally, the, the first goal is we are qualifying for Boston and that's, that's the plan. Um, stretch goal 250. And so we're going to come out, we're going to come out. I know it's going to those first, that first mile has a great downhill slope to get us going. Um, I expect a, probably a six minute, a sub six minute mile. And then from there we're off. 
I've thought about the aid stations. I am gonna have my belt with me like I mentioned, so I do know I'm gonna just plan for my own pacing for nutrition and have that set. But, but I've lived it. There's been times when I've been there and it's been so intense that I feel it in my chest. I can feel a little bit of anxiety from it. Um, but I've embraced that because I know that's going to be there on race day. And so I, I want to feel that. I want to know that I can control that. And then, and then it's time to go to a dark place and we're going to, and we're going to go there and we're going to, we'll suffer for a minute. But I am excited for the competition aspect. I've been suffering in solitude all through training. And if I can hold on to someone's shoulder, I'm so curious to see what we can do. So more to come. Um, I'll try to put something out maybe tomorrow on my Instagram or something, some results. But otherwise, I think Sunday I'll jump. I'll jump back on and do a recap and we'll talk about the race. But um, thank you for the support up to this point. There's so many people I want to thank, um, especially my wife and her schedule and our schedule and Coda and how we're able to balance all of that. Um, my work family has been incredible, how they are always asking about training, always asking about the run. Um, that accountability factor that, that comes with it has been powerful. Um, you know, friends, Jet, Taylor, there's so many people that, that continue to motivate me. Johnny, man, appreciate you. So, so hoping I can go out tomorrow and make, make a bunch of people proud, make it happen. So we'll see you soon.